Hello, in this video we're going to be creating a wildfire detector that can detect the smoke coming from a wildfire and we're going to be training this with YOLO V5 on Google Colab. So here's just an example of what the final result will look like. So first things first, um, you want to click on the Colab notebook in the description and it's based off of RoboFlow's own notebook, which I will also link to, and their blog post around YOLO V5. And so once you've clicked on the notebook, you'll be greeted to this page over here. And so first we want to install the dependencies. Now, once you've done that, this will just take a couple of seconds. And you can see in the files, it'll just take a second it'll show a new folder pop up alright so now we just wanna check what GPU we have and here we have a Tesla V100 so that's pretty good alright so next things first uh, we just want to add our link here so to do that we need to go back to your data set through RoboFlow can click on yellow v5 PyTorch and then you press continue and then it'll show you your link and you copy that and you would paste it in between those quotes and run it okay now once you've done that it'll finish off with a couple of readings here but it's exported all the uh, CSVs or uh, XMLs or whatever format we just put it in which was the yellow v5 and here if we run it you can see that the names or labels is smoke and here we can also run this and now we have our yellow v5 folders now we want to run this and this is just our settings for our yellow v5 usually you don't want to mess with this it can ruin your results so i'll just leave it as a default all right and we have this we can run these, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so now we've come to the training part. Make sure your images are as many you have in your data set, which is in this case 737, and we've set our batches to 32 and our epochs to 1000. Now something like this would take a couple of hours, so I'm going to change these epochs to 500 and batch size of 16, but if you want the best results, I would um, I would probably set it to batch size of 32 and around a thousand epochs. Now remember, even if you have uh, a free version of Colab or a pro version, it doesn't really matter because you need to change your settings in uh, your Windows PC or Mac or whatever you're using because that doesn't uh, sleep. Otherwise, it's going to cancel it and you're going to have to restart. Your runtime is going to reset. So make sure you set that. Okay? And once you've set your setting, all you need to do is just run this cell. So you can press Shift Enter, and if you want to see your tensor boards results, you can also run this. This will pop up a screen after your model has finished training. So something like this would probably take 30 minutes to an hour, something like that. It, it really depends. Okay, so once you're done training, all you need to do is run this cell down here, and this will save your model to one of the folders in here, so will this do the same thing. Now here you can test it on images, but in this case, I want to test it on a video. So now, here is our line to do that, and our model is just called best.pt, you're just going to run that, and then it's going to create a it's going to create a folder for you or a video that mp4 in one of these folders and you can just download that and open it so i do want to mention that you have to upload your own test.mp4 or just like a test video and you have to make sure to put it in the yolo v5 folder otherwise it's going to think it's missing so you want to make sure to put it there and make sure you put the right name of the video so if its name is like test then you want to put test.mp4 over here and now it should give you a video 
file in the um, Colab and you can just download that and test it and it should look like something like this and yeah that's pretty much it for this video make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching